Today we're going to look at some very common problems on the Ender 3, Ender 3 Pro and Ender 3 V2. So if you start to have prints that are inconsistent and showing results like this, it is usually due to clogged nozzle, stuck hot ends or even the PTFE tube itself. So today, let's look at how to fix them. I've been stocking up tons of this PTFE tube, this uh, pneumatic coupling for the hot end and extruder, and also nozzles. Since last year, when all my Ender 3 print farms are printing PPEs for the frontliners, and they are running for hundreds and hundreds and hours a week, so all this wear and tear die off pretty quickly. This time, I'll be upgrading to a high quality PTFE tube together with the pneumatic coupling and a new nozzle. Let me show you the best way to do it. So first of all, of course, we need to heat up the hot end and just the hot end alone should be good enough. Let's fast forward the heating process and while it's heating up, you can actually just remove the silicon protective cover. Be careful, it is still kind of hot right now. So just gently pry it off using the tools provided for your printer. All right, now that the hot end is hot, we can just gently remove the nozzle. Remember, it is counterclockwise if you look at it from the bottom. You can safely turn around three to five rounds. After that, be careful because the nozzle will drop off and the hot end is currently very hot, so you might get burned. So be careful, remove it totally. This nozzle had been printing for almost 300 hours and it's time to be changed. Usually I just clean it up, but this time I'm gonna be replacing them. Next, we're gonna lower down the print head so that we can get to the Bowden tube easily to remove the coupling and replace the Bowden tube. We will start by removing the clips that are holding on to the pneumatic coupler. A bigger one for the hot end and a smaller one for the extruder end. After that's removed, I try to push down the pneumatic coupling to remove the PTFE tube but for this one, because it's already old and seized up, it can't be removed. So what I'm going to do is just to cut away the cable ties and we'll remove the entire pneumatic coupling itself because we are going to replace the whole set anyway. I try to remove the pneumatic coupling from the hot end first. Well, it's good that we keep it hot when we remove it because the filament might be stuck inside so if it's hot, it will be all soft and easy to remove it. However, it's harder to remove it from the hot end side first because the other side, the Bowden tube is forcing against it. So let's remove the coupling from the extruder side and twist the entire Bowden tube and the coupling and pull it out from the hot end. Oh, you can see that this one is kind of dirty and gunky and all the stuff been stuck there for ages, right? So that's the reason why sometimes the prints are not nice at all. And yes, you see, the pneumatic coupling is all jammed up. Another telltale sign that there's a gap between the Bowden tube and the nozzle is the bottom part of the Bowden tube had some gunky black marks on it. And confirmed by looking into the hot end, you'll see that there are some gunks stuck on the side of the hot end. So we're going to clean it out. I have a little tip for that. Just use the old PTFE tube, cut it at a 45 degree angle so that you have a sharp end and insert it right into the hot end. Just double confirm and make sure that it's still hot and just wiggle it up and down and it will help to remove and push the gunk out of the hot end. You can see here, there are some gunk stuck here. You can repeat it a few times until you are satisfied. You can always clean up the PTFE tube using some cloth and try it again. However, I just cut it shorter to use a cleaner part of the PTFE tube to repeat the entire process. Now, it's clean. Now we can proceed to install a new nozzle. Remember, it is still very hot. 
However, you have like around 7 seconds to handle this nozzle before it gets too hot to touch. So I'll just screw it in and then using the wrench, I just tighten it just enough. Don't over tighten it as it will spoil the thread. I will then put up the silicone heat cover. Be mindful of the direction and be careful not to touch the hot nozzle. Alright, with that in, I'll just use the same tools again to make sure that it is tightly fastened around the hot end. Next, let's lower down the pin head to install the new PTFE tube and the couplings. The famous question that I always get asked is, how would we know which is the right length? So I'm going to show you a little tip. So first of all, push the print head to the far end. Insert one side of the PTFE tube all the way into the hot end and the other side hold it on the extruder. Make sure that you have around 4 inches on top of the hot end that is straight before you curve it around towards the extruder. And by doing that, you have the exact length. Move the print head around to make sure that the PTFE tube is not entangled or is bending too much. Usually in a pack of a Capricorn PTFE tube, you have enough for two printers. Next, we're going to cut it. Well, some of the Capricorn PTFE tube sets comes with a cutter, but I'm just going to use this snipper. However, I need to make sure that it's totally squared before I make the cut. And once it's cut, usually the tube is a little bit compressed. To make it round again, what I do is I just insert one of the small Allen keys and twist it around to make it round again. For the hot end, we must make sure that the tube is all the way down and it touches the nozzle. And usually I'll make a marking to make sure that when I do it with the pneumatic coupling, I will get the same length as well. So just hand screw the pneumatic coupling all the way down and then I will unwind it back one turn. This is to make sure that later on, after inserting the PTFE tube, I can then fasten it to make sure that the PTFE tube is snuck tightly towards the nozzle. So I'll push the PTFE tube down, double check it with the marking that I had and since it's all the way in, we will proceed with tightening it using the wrench. Now don't over tighten it because it is hot and we can easily damage the thread. So once it's in, just fasten it using the blue clip that was provided with the ender tree. The extruder end is fairly easy. We just insert the smaller pneumatic coupler and fasten it using hand. And after you're done, just push the PTFE tube all the way in and then clip it tight using the blue clip. Remember to lift up the pneumatic coupling holder before inserting the blue clip. To tidy up the Bowden tube and the cables, we are going to put cable ties. However, at this point, I make sure that I lightly tie up the cable tie first and make sure that the Bowden tube can move freely together with the print head. And I'll make final adjustments to it. Once I make sure that the PTFE tube is not bent or snagged, I will then tighten the cable ties and cut the ends away. Finally, just insert the filament when you push it through, make sure that it's not having any resistance and push it all the way through till you get to the nozzle and the filament should be extruded smoothly. The nozzle is extruding it straight and nice and there's no stringing. So job's done. That's how I clear up the hot end and change nozzle and upgrade PTFE tube. Now the printer is back into working mode. Hope you enjoy this video. Please like and share and subscribe to my channel. And do comment below to help me improve in my future videos. Well, see you next time. Bye-bye.